You know, I think it's just best you don't listen to me anymore. At least when it comes to first generation Apple products. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here, DavidDeFranco.com. I hope you had an awesome holiday. Now the only reason I say that in the intro is because I am on record saying that I have zero interest in the Apple Watch. Yet, I have not gone one full day without wearing this since launch. I love it. It is now part of my daily routine, and I think that says a lot. I just love being an early adopter of first-generation Apple products. I had the first iPhone. Actually, the box is right back there. And all well, the actual device is back there, too. I had the first iPad. I did not have the first iPad mini. But I did have the first one with Retina, and now I have the iPad Mini 4, which I love, by the way. So, at first I thought, you know what, David, you don't need the iPad Pro, it's just a bigger iPad. And yes, it might be just a bigger iPad in some people's eyes, and it honestly is kind of that in my eyes. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because isn't the iPad just a bigger iPhone? Well, yeah, but isn't a swimming pool just a bigger bathtub? Of course, it's more water but you get more area uh, because it allows you to do more things. So in theory, this should be the same idea. I had zero interest in the iPad Pro at first, but then when I used one at the Fifth Avenue Apple Store, it kind of clicked. I really enjoyed the large screen, but only from the perspective of using it at my desk. This is not a tablet that I will be taking around with me everywhere. That is why I will continue to use my iPad mini on an almost daily basis. Seriously guys, I love this iPad mini. It is my favorite iPad of all time. It's just that good. So you might be wondering, David, why the heck did you get an iPad Pro if you're not a huge fan of larger form factors? Well, one main reason. I have some big, big changes coming up in January. And actually you're not seeing this until January, but this whole setup, will radically change and this will play a large role. You will see why I am so excited about putting this on my setup. Anyway, this is the longest unboxing video ever, but you know what, this thing came out probably two months ago by the time you see this. So I like to put my own personal spin on it. And of course, speaking of that, I would like to give a shout out to my parents for getting me this for Christmas. I am incredibly thankful. I am so, so excited about uh, using this and putting it into my everyday workflow and seeing how it affects me. Okay, so there is one thing to note. Man, I'm all over the place in this video. I do not have an Apple Pencil yet. They are sold out pretty much everywhere you look. You gotta be lucky. Maybe go to Best Buy. I've heard sometimes you can find it randomly there because it really means that much to me. I need the Apple Pencil in my life because I am confident in saying the Apple Pencil plays a significant role in making the iPad Pro unique when compared to the other iPads in Apple's current lineup. So here we go, 32 gigabyte space gray model. Wait, David, did you say 32 gigabyte? Yes, I did say 32 gigabyte. Again, this was a gift from my parents. I'm not gonna say, I want 120 gigabytes, send this back to the Apple store. No, 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 no. I am not like that. I am incredibly grateful for just the fact that they gave me this for Christmas. I mean, this is going to be insanely great. Get it, insanely great. And plus, I just upgraded my iCloud backup storage, not backup, but you know, just storage in general, from five gigabytes to 50 gigabytes. So anything I create, I will be saving in the cloud anyway. That way I can access everything on my iPad mini and my Mac. And plus, honestly, I don't really plan on storing a ton of media on here. I stream mostly everything nowadays. The only media I host on here are my own personal photos, and some podcasts, of which I delete right after I watch them anyway. So that is my personal view on why 32 gigabyte isn't necessarily a bad option, especially with everything streaming nowadays, in the cloud, and all that good stuff. All right, David, you get the award for not only Reverb, but the longest iPad Pro unboxing ever. You guys gotta understand, this is a significant day for me, and I'm so, so excited to own one myself. Here we go. And apparently it is personalized on the back with a laser engraving, so I'm excited to see what it says. Oh. <laughs> Again, I have used one already multiple times at different Apple stores, but my God, look how massive it is. Holy crap. And I gotta say, I'm still amazed at how light this is, considering its size 
It's very, very slightly heavier than the first generation iPad. And it's still quite light, and I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. Setting that aside for now, you get your typical design by Apple in California. Little booklets, and inside should be Apple stickers. So cool, there you go, Apple stickers. Banging, put it right back in there. I don't typically take the Apple stickers out unless I really need them at the moment or at some point in the future. So that goes right back in. And you get a very long lightning cable because again, Apple's vision is this thing will be sitting at your desk all day long, um, which yes, means you might wanna get a keyboard for this. I don't necessarily consider this a notebook replacement because I'll still be using my MacBook Pro every single day. I love that purchase. It's my favorite purchase of 2015. But when I'm sitting at my desk and I want TweetBot streaming in the background or podcast or whatever, then having a keyboard, I think, is essential for that kind of thing, especially if you wanna do word processing, email, all that stuff. Because don't forget, if you do save a documents in pages or even Office nowadays, it goes to the cloud and you can access that document across all of your devices. So I think that's really cool. It's a sign of our times and we are just incredibly grateful to have all the technology that we have literally at our fingertips nowadays. And I think it's really, really cool. Man, I'm really rambling. Can you tell I'm building this up? So here we go, taking off the plastic, which is always the best part. Oh, that's great. My dad engraved it saying the creative one on the back. That is really, really cool. I was thinking, did he put Sir Squid Boy or Merry Christmas David? It says the creative one. And honestly, I wouldn't have this iPad Pro if it wasn't for YouTube. So dad, if you're watching, thank you so much. This means a lot to me. And here we go, taking the rest of the plastic off. Oh my God, look how massive it is. Oh my God, that is insane. Let's turn it on. And the speakers are very, very impressive. I cannot wait to put these spe uh, speaker, yes, yeah, speakers, speakers to test. Wow, look at this. Very, very awesome. Now, while wow, that's booting, let me put that on the side. And I did buy myself a cheap case, which again, I do not have the smart keyboard yet, or even the Logitech Create keyboard case, but I'm gonna try to get my hands on that in the near future. So for now, I went on Amazon, I overnighted this one probably for like four bucks. The overall purchase was probably like 14, $15 total, which I don't think is bad at all. This is just like the case I'm using on my iPad mini. Although I will say the brand is different. They look extremely similar, look at that. And I really like the simplistic design. So let's open this. Guys, I gotta say, it feels so weird holding a case this large. This is insane. This is insane. Especially for someone like myself who likes the smaller form factor tablets like my iPad mini and my 13 inch MacBook Pro. But I cannot stress this enough, guys. I have some major, major changes in the works regarding my setup. This right here will be completely different besides my Mac Pro, of course. I mean, from monitors to speakers, to accessories. It's gonna be awesome and I cannot wait to show you guys. So here you go. There is the case I got. Let's put this in the case. Actually, let's put the right one in, the right side in first, so that way the volume buttons are nice and flush. I don't like the thought of rubbing the volume buttons against the case, kinda makes me nervous. And boom. Damn, it feels so weird to hold a device like this. It literally feels like my iPad mini has been eating a crap load of donuts. This is insane. iPad mini, iPad pro. Look at that difference. That is incredible. So let me open this. And yes, it does have a built-in magnet. It's kind of ridiculous how big it is. Like, this is not a device you will be hand-holding a lot, unless you will be drawing, which by the way, I will be taking a serious interest in sketching. Um, I wanna find some 
walkthrough apps that teach you how to draw. Because guys, I will say I used to be somewhat decent at drawing years ago, but nowadays I do mostly everything on my Mac and I've always wanted a tablet where I could get a nice large screen with palm rejection, which yes, this does a pretty good job at. Actually, by pretty good, I mean great. I mean, I will say I've seen like a few accidental inputs here and there, but nothing's gonna be perfect. Although I will ask you this guys, are there any iPad Pro apps out there that only sense the Apple Pencil? Because on my Samsung Galaxy Note 5, if you pull the S Pen out, it launches this very simplistic Note app where it doesn't sense your finger, like no matter what you do, it only senses the S Pen um, unless you put your fingers at the top. So the developers pretty much coded the app so only certain portions of the app recognize your finger up here and only the pen down here. So guys, my question to you is, is there anything out there like that for the iPad Pro? All right, here we go. I will do, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. My, and the display, oh, the display. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm, so, I'm freaking out, this is so funny. It is huge. Oh my God, and it's mine, I own one. I just really, really have to find an Apple Pencil. Let's try again. For some reason, the activation server could not be rich. There it goes, it's working now. You know, I could have sworn that happened on my iPad mini. Oh, that's right, it says Touch ID. I don't know why I keep forgetting it says Touch ID, which I will not use. I don't really care about that that, that much. This is gonna be staying at my house most of the time. No passcode. I know Apple, I know, I know. But hey, at least they're serious about their uh, security. Set up as a new iPad, oh hell yes. I don't think the setup screen goes in landscape, man. Which is kind of odd. I, I hope Apple changes that. My God. You can really fit a lot on here. This is crazy. Like this is really, really crazy. And I will say it definitely is heavy after holding it. But again, for like the third time, this is not a device you're gonna be typically holding all that much. This is meant to be on your desk or even your lap for when uh, drawing. And I cannot wait to edit photos on here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Turn on Siri, hell yeah. By the way, I have a 94% battery, not bad. Send to Apple, always. Always, yes, get started. Oh my God, that is huge. Now I will say, I seriously hope Apple does some optimization for the iPad Pro with iOS 10. I mean, this right here looks nice, but in my opinion, they could take so much better advantage of the screen real estate. I mean, guys, look at this. We still have four icons per row when they could easily fit five icons. I mean, obviously they do in landscape. That's how it's always been. Uh, but I really do hope uh, we get some serious optimization in iOS 10. But as of right now, I gotta say it's not a huge deal because it honestly comes down to the apps. With a huge screen and all the screen real estate you have, this is gonna be excellent for multitasking. I can have email over here or Twitter over here, email over here, vice versa, music playing, podcast, all that stuff. And again, it will be sitting on my desk for pretty much its entire um, life cycle until I get the next iPad Pro next year, probably. Although I am taking this to my parents' house today because I'm going over their house today for more uh, holiday goodness. So there you go, guys. Before I sign off, let me show you a comparison of the iPad. Oh my God, this feels so freaking tiny now. So here we go. iPad Pro iPad mini. <laughs> and guys, if you have not used the iPad Pro in person yet, please do so before judging it because I will say I was a little ignorant and naive in thinking the iPad Pro is not a necessary device until I used it in store. It really changed my mind. And guys, honestly, I think it does have a lot of potential. Don't forget, this is a first generation product. This is just the beginning. So it's only going to get better from here on out. Anyway guys, let's wrap up this very long unboxing video. Guys, thank you so much for watching and one more huge thanks to my parents for making this possible. Honestly, if I wasn't getting this for Christmas, I would have bought one last night. I mean, I would have went on Apple.com, bought an iPad Pro because I can use it as a business expense and then boom, here in time for the new year. But I'm fortunate enough to have some extremely 
extremely generous parents and I cannot be more thankful. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. Although again, by the time you see this, it's January. But either way, here's to a prosperous and successful and happy all around good 2016. I'll see you soon. Peace.